Well, the competitors weren't the only ones feeling the heat, and that led organizers to make some last-minute changes to help spectators cope with that heat. Fox 11's Bill Miston has that story. If you're looking to attend the 2012 U.S. Women's Open in Kohler, the U.S. Golf Association says you should come prepared. Golf is played in an outdoor environment, and there's no escaping the sun and the heat uh, You know, when you're out on a golf course. With temperatures about 100 degrees, the USGA brought in some extra resources like cooling buses to help cool people off, like Bill and Peg Mitchell. How's the weather out there for you? It's just lovely. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Other than blazes. <laughs> you don't see too many people drinking soda or anything. It's mostly water and the Gatorade, too, just to stay hydrated. So hot, the USGA is selling water at two for one prices, and concession workers say it's outselling beer 24 to 1. Out on the course, a piece of shady real estate is a hot commodity. Shade tents dot the landscape. However, the lack of a strong breeze forced some to reconsider their day. It's so hot I'm leaving. My husband's the big golf fan, and I came with him, but I've been getting lightheaded and a little nauseous, and I think the heat's getting to me. And without a lot of shade for spectators to use throughout the course, spectators are using whatever they can come by to try and stay cool. Just barely making it. It's, uh... It's pretty hot. Glenn and Vicky Coffee say their umbrella has been their savior. That and about six bottles of water. We thought being be in Wisconsin would be a little bit cooler than Chicago, but not. So, no, we didn't expect it. But what can you do? You're in bear. The USGA expects the cooler temperatures in the coming days to help the championship. About 80,000 people are expected over the course of the week. In Kohler, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News.